problem. I'm just going to go. Let me see. Yeah, so we'll just head back. Oh, that would look so much better with a different quartz block. Since I don't know why it spit me out there. Maybe it is a, a height limit thing. Okay, is it down here that I have it stashed or no? Because I'm just going to go make a new one if that's the case. I'll just bring this with me. Is that all I should do? Do that for now. Uh, I need en enchantment books. Uh, where's the raw ones? There it is. Okay. I could throw a silk touch again, but I don't think that's going to be very interesting to have. Uh, efficiency two. I think efficiency two should be fine. I don't think I need to go too, too much. Oh, of course. I know for a fact that you guys are from 1.12. So you guys are all over the place in what you can provide. So either way, I need to put you guys down. What can you provide me? Unbreaking three. That's awesome. I don't know why I looked at Unbreaking 3 before and went, do I need that? The answer is yes, I do need that. Uh, Fortune 3, mine as well. This doesn't have efficiency? Alright, fine, whatever. Do you have efficiency? It doesn't even need to be like efficiency 5 or anything like that. It just needs to be efficiency. Oh, efficiency five. Would you look at that? Yeah, one thing I'm noticing here is that I don't have mending in here, and I think that's because like was mending a one point. Yeah, I think that's because like mending was such a rare well rare if you're not actively going for it kind of situation of an enchantment book. Yeah, I don't think anything in here is gonna be very helpful for me. Alright. Uh, oops. I clicked on the wrong thing. Alright. Uh, shared enchantments could be in here. I doubt it, though. I doubt I would put mending. Oh, mending is in here. Awesome. I did have a mending one. Awesome. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Let's see if this will actually work. To my advantage. I doubt it. I doubt it's gonna work. Uh, how far are you gone? Ooh, you're doing pretty well. Uh, there we go. You two go back. You just have a stack of two. You collect that stuff. Go back out. Yeah, so they definitely shouldn't be able to fill that up. Alright, let's go to my crafting area. Since I should have supplies up there anyway. I just don't know if I have an anvil up there, though. Oh, I went up one more too many. Oops. It's over here. Ha. This is one of the changes that I made uh, before the last session because of that and I don't even have a crafting table up here. Why do I not have a crafting table up here? Uh, is there a crafting table in here? Nope. Is there a crafting table like anywhere close by? Okay, I think I should get rid of something in here for a crafting table because this is just insane that I don't have one doubt in this area. This entire area that's so huge doesn't have a crafting table. 
Hooray! Does this have a crafting table? Yeah, I definitely should put some down here. I know an area that has it, though, but that's insane, though, that, like, I have to go, like, very far away just for a crafting table. There should be one in here. There should be one up here. Right? Oh, wait. Duh. I'm, I'm, I'm a fool. They're right here. All right. Uh, let's see here. We can create diamond pickaxe. I'm not going to do the most efficient way of doing it because I have so many enchantment bottles it doesn't even matter. The only thing is that do I have an anvil close by? <laughs> yeah, like, like I have enchantment bottles that I could just end up using. So if I need more levels, I could just use it. Uh, the only thing is the anvils though. Actually, you know what? I should just use the storage room ones because the storage because those ones are for decorations. These ones are not. These ones are supposed to be actually used. So let's see here. So we'll just use this with go with what looks really good. So efficiency. I'll name this cool pick. I don't know. Cool pike. Sure. Cool pike. And then we'll go with uh, fortune next. And breaking. And then mending. There we go. So now this thing should be pretty much almost unbreakable. Towards normal things. And because I also need to work on other areas as well, which one of those areas is literally like this whole area. Oops. I just wasted a few rockets. All right. Uh, I could throw the diamonds somewhere. I'll throw the diamonds in here for now. Alright, we're just gonna... Yeah, there's... Oh, that's right. I keep thinking the, like, the one, ele like, the elevator, like, idea that I had, I actually did it. So, like, oh, I'll just use the elevator because I'm down here. Uh, no. And plus, I'll actually help out with uh, doing that kind of thing, so that like I can easily just get up here. I don't necessarily need one down because you could just jump down. It's not going to hurt you that much. And plus, if you really want a faster way of doing it, you have that. Hooray! All right, I have no idea where I was though for the uh, the tunnel, so I might just create a new one. Actually, this area might be better to create the tunnel. Not necessarily in terms of the Y department. Seriously, you go away. Uh. Down here. We have we're at Y level 30. I'm glad that there's a lot of mag there's a giant magma deposit over here though. That's actually gonna be very helpful. I'm just going to try and get my way down to Y level 15. I actually thought it was ancient debris for a second. I'm like, I've already found some, but no, it's just still sand. I know there's a many different methods of doing it. I know bed bombing is one. Uh, yeah, what is it? Bed bombing is one. Uh, that a lot of people recommend. Uh, the one that I saw on the wiki, and that's kind of the one that I've always used, is Y level 15, go down, and then just do this. Now, Lord Cube didn't say exactly how I had to obtain the ancient debris. Just said that I just needed to get it.
and because we don't have an easy method like the what was the other one that we were using back in older versions i think it was like uh What was the other ones that we were using it was the dimensional quarry i think i think that was the data pack we were using where it made getting some of the rarer stuff kind of thing much easier because of the fact that we didn't have to worry about anything all we needed to do was just get a dragon egg the end dragon egg and just put a pickaxe in there and you're good as you're good as gold actually i still have my flint right yeah i should probably Use that to my advantage. As a light source. I know in 1.17, me and my friend just ended up just... Uh, for us to get a lot of that ancient debris, we did it through the most inefficient method possible. We just used a bunch of TNT, which is not very useful for the nether since bed bombing is a thing. But we chose the TNT because it would be fun. Can I not find another? Can I not find ancient debris? Hello? Can I not find ancient debris? Oh, there we go. Found some. No, I want ancient debris. Thank you. That's one. Two. So we need to find 36 ancient debris which i'm not gonna say is a gonna be such an easy find let me just go and uh hit up the thing no it's gonna be it's gonna take a little bit and we found it yeah so we found it pretty close to where we are so that's pretty okay Yeah, so one of the methods that I saw a lot of people doing when either... I think it was when Ancient Debris came out, or when... What was it when... Uh, I think it was when Ancient Debris came out, or just overall in general, for Netherite, or Netherrack gathering, is that they just ended up just doing this. Yeah, so a lot of things have happened uh, off screen, uh, more so with the Oblivion mod than anything else. So I just want to talk about that just for a little bit while we're here, since we have another 45 or like close to like 50 minutes left over, because I'm going to try and make this six videos. That's the goal. Uh, while, uh, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to try and do this. So, hooray. So... So the mod's pretty much mostly all set and ready to go. I just have to double check every script to make sure that it's working to where I want it to be. Which is exactly what I want. Well, not exactly what I want, but it's exactly like the point that I want to be at. That there's only like a few things that's going to be wrong and that's pretty much it. So, you're ready for that nonsense pretty much, right? Then I can get started with uh, recording that uh, obli uh, the obl not the Oblivion uh, mod uh, mod playthrough, but the Oblivion modded playthrough of the Halloween uh, mod that I want to that I want to make specifically because that's exactly what I want to do is I want to make that Oblivion modded playthrough so that we can get something done. Another ancient ring, nice. Oh, 
Oh, it's only a one. We only have what, three? Yeah, I should probably do this just so I can keep track of how many I have. And this is the, oh, that's an empty shelter. So, yeah, so I retext oh not retextured. I technically recategorize the whole sound folder for the mods, and now everything is like it should be from like a basic vanilla uh kind of folder uh directory kind of thing. So if you look at so if you're able to access like the Oblivion BSA uh sound directory thing, uh my mod should look exactly like it. Is actually a light block? Wait, hang on a second. One of these created light. I don't know what it was. Also, it could be the flint and steel. That doesn't make any sense. Let's try and uh, 